Hi everyone, welcome back on my YouTube channel. Today I want to talk to you about how to spend your gems. So here I am in the game. As you can see, I have some, some gems here. And what I really recommend you to do first is buy this one, this pack, every time you can. It has a 20 hours cooldown. So it's very important to take this one. To also take this one, the multi battle is really great to take it every day and save maybe your um, energy and your multi battle stamina here. So when you will have some great events, you will be able to farm them well. I also recommend that you buy uh, this one when uh, during uh, the farming events so you will be able to farm more but maybe it's not very useful to take this one um, when you or when you don't have any events um, then I really recommend to buy this potion because uh, you will make some mistakes or maybe you will uh, you will want to uh, change uh, one hero in your team so this is really important to take it as soon as you can and it has also a 30 days cooldown so every time you can you should take it because for sure you will need to regress a hero someday so it's the most free to play way to um, regress your heroes during a Dwarven Ruins events, you will also want to uh, buy this one to get some energy to in order to farm. So I really recommend you to take this one because it's not that much expensive. And if you buy a 10, um, 10 energy here, 10 times this pack, you will be able to farm uh, 100 times uh, high level dungeons, uh, maybe uh, 25, 26 level in Dwarven Ruins, uh, you will be able to farm it 100 times buying this. If you buy a 12 times this one or 13 times this one, you will be able to farm the 13, the, the last level in, in every Dwarven Ruins. So this one is really important if you want to uh, get high rewards during the events. Uh, then don't buy other stuff, really don't buy other stuff. Or maybe you are at the beginning of the game, you just start uh, the game uh, two past days. So it could be interesting, uh, maybe if you are a free to play player to buy this one to get some uh, nice heroes to begin with. But I really don't recommend you to buy this one. Uh, then, 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 what? do you what can you do here every day i recommend you to uh, click here and to spend 20 gems one time 20 gen once and 20 gems another time each day do it because it will uh, give you some experience you will get some uh, levels on your characters and you will get some rewards by leveling and also you will get some coins some food uh, you can also get if you are lucky some four star food or maybe the four star epic that you wanted to get so it can be really important to um, do this every day then you have, yeah, you see I've got uh, increased to level 37, so I got a bunch of stamina. And uh, here, as you can see, I bought the growth fund. So every time, every five levels, I'm going to get some rewards here. So then you have the market. Here you can refresh it every day, a couple of times. The first one is free. Uh, you can buy some potions here maybe if you get some coins but if you are free to play maybe don't buy it because it's a bit expensive uh, i don't recommend you to spend gems on stuff here in the market because it's very very expensive and stuff here are garbage okay if you look this one even with your coins don't buy it okay if you are not free to play, you can buy some food here if you have a lot of coins, but I really recommend you to keep your coins here only for upgrading your stuff. So you can refresh it every day. It has a 24 hours cooldown. You can uh, refresh it for free the first time and then it will increase uh, five gems on every refresh. 
So maybe if you want to uh, buy some stuff here, you can uh, use your gems like this and buy stuff. You can spend it here 100%. When you get this one, sh you should buy it because it's not that expensive to get this amount of multi battles. You can also spend that, buy some shards to summon and get some food. Maybe with this you will be lucky and get uh, 3 stars or even uh, 4 star characters. So maybe you can refresh the shop here for uh, 3 or 4 times. It's not that expensive, especially if you are looking for some energy like this. But I think this one uh, is appearing, can appear only one time per week. And if you manage to see uh, the, um, the dragon um, eggs here, the one uh, for 1080 uh, gems, you can, uh, if you buy it once, uh, you can, uh, you won't find it again in the month. It has, it, it's not written everywhere, but we have tested it on beta during five months, and if you buy it once a month, you won't find any other during the, the, the same month, okay? You will have to wait one uh, another month. So, Maybe if you are free to play, um, I don't know, 1080 gems is a lot. So maybe you want to uh, keep your gems to farm events. So that's why I'm going to talk about events now. Uh, gems, you should keep the most gems as you can to farm this kind of events. Every event that gives you a mythic shot are really, really... Uh, great to farm. So I really recommend you to use your gems to refill uh, the mm, tickets it's, it's, if it's for arena or uh, for uh, energy to farm the Dwarven Ruins on these events. You have other events such as the Voyage or uh, this one who will start soon. Uh, they will uh, you will have to uh, pay a lot of diamonds if you want to progress through these events. So maybe you can do it once. Uh, it will cost around 1,600 um, uh, diamonds to get uh, full energy uh, one day per day. So maybe you can uh, spend your gems once on it to progress uh, further in the event. But I really don't recommend you, uh, e uh, even more if you are free to play, to uh, buy this energy in this kind of events because it's really expensive and you will you won't get very very uh, high rewards doing it so it's very expensive keep your gems to farm um, this kind of event dwarven, all dwarven ruins events that give you some mythic shards because the ranking here is very important even if you can only farm the level, levels 20 in those in these events it's really um, great to farm them because you will uh, be able to reach the maybe the top 50 or the top 100 and you will also get a lot of rewards doing it so keep your gems only for arena and uh, dwarven ruins um, events okay so if you want to refill your arena it's here you uh, only need to click here and to uh, re purchase some tickets so you can get 10 tickets for 100 gems it's really nice and also, if you do it for uh, the Classic Arena, you will also get some uh, books that will be uh, used useful here to get some statistics on your characters. And this, these statistics can <coughs> increase your statistics in every uh, content of the game, PvP or PvE. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, put a like, comment and subscribe. And see you in another video. Bye-bye. Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.